Hi there. Today I want to show you how to make chicken pot pie. It's one of the easiest recipes and the most delicious. So if you're looking at a really fast way to cook up dinner, this is a great way to do it. So what I've got here is three chicken breasts. Now I have boiled it. I'm going to give you the recipe. It's going to be in the description of this video. So make sure you look at all of the instructions and the um, in the directions. So um, what I did was I had three chicken breasts. I cut into pieces and I boiled it with some uh, one teaspoon garlic, one teaspoon ginger, uh, about 10 whole peppercorns and one bouillon. Um, it calls for chicken bouillon. I didn't have that, so I used a vegetable one. It doesn't really matter. It tastes, it tastes the same. And I also put about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, at the end, you may want to taste this, uh, the mixture, just to make sure that there's enough salt, but I usually start out with half a teaspoon because the bouillon also has salt in it. So you boil all of the chicken, and in um, once it's all boiled, you want to take the chicken out of that water onto a dish, separate uh, dish, and then in the water that uh, you had with all the other you know, ingredients of the garlic ginger, um, you want to add your mixed vegetables. So about half a bag of mixed vegetables. You can use whatever types you like. My husband really likes um, a lot of corn, so I use a mixed vegetable uh, frozen bag, half a bag of that, and then I add one can of niblets corn just because he likes it, but you can, you know, you can do whatever. Um, so you want to cook that in that water for about 20 minutes with the vegetables. And then with the chicken, while you're waiting, you just want to, want to cut it up into small pieces like I have here, which I think you can see there. So it's just little pieces. So as you notice that the there's almost um, all the water has evaporated or almost all of it, you want to add the, um, the chicken to this mixture. And you want to stir that in. I'll show you um, how it looks. You want it to be a thick mixture when you actually put it in the dish because um, once you put it in the oven and you're baking it, you don't want it to be runny. So now that it's in here, and it's on about low to medium heat, um, so you just want to you know, mix it all in here, just give it a few minutes. I'm going to show you uh, what I did to make the roux. To thicken this, you're going to need a cup and a half, one cup and a half of milk. You're going to want a quarter cup of white flour and three quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So what you want to do is you want to mix all of those ingredients in here. And then you're going to add that to this mixture. And you're, this is what's going to thicken your, um, your mixture there. So you want to, um, now that you see that there's very little water left, you just want to add this. Um, I just add it slowly just to make sure know that it's all good now you know if, if you've done it like me where I have prepared it you want to again just make sure that all the white flour is um, mixed in with the milk because it can settle um, on the bottom so then you're gonna add all of that in there and now you're going to cook this mixture and it's going to thicken pretty quickly that's what the white flour does and um, I'll show you that while that's happening here I want to show you the pastry that you want to um, get. So this is rolled out pastry. You can get the one that you roll out yourself if you want, if that's what you're used to or you want to try it. But for me, um, this has been the easiest way. It's already rolled out and uh, I take it out a little bit before I knead it just so it softens up from the freezer and it's a little bit more meldable, right? So I just have it ready here. This is the dish that the um, pot pie is gonna go in. I use a round dish, you can use a rectangular, it doesn't really matter. All you wanna do is make sure the mixture is sitting on the bottom and then you will cover it with the pastry and because it's a round dish, I actually cut around it and then fill in the edges, okay? And then you're gonna pop it into the um, oven at 350 degrees and you're gonna uh, cook it for it depends on really how your oven um, disperses temperature but uh, it, I find that it takes about 35 to 45 minutes you just want to uh, go till the pastry is nice and golden you'll see it rising and um, you can actually see I don't know if you can actually see this but and the pot's really hot so let me just get a, a towel um, if you see it it's actually gotten quite thick and so again you just want to um, make sure it is really a thick consistency because I've made it before where I've kind of rushed it a little bit and um, it wasn't as thick and so when we were eating it, it it becomes a little bit soupy until it cools off but um, still tastes just as good so at this point you would want to taste it for salt so 
you know, if you want to just, yep, tastes really good. So um, the pepper and the salt, you can all, you can add or, you know, um, use your judgment. But at the end, if you feel like, yeah, it needs a little bit more salt, then this is the time to add it. And again, here you just want to make sure it gets into a very thick consistency before you put it into your dish. And so what I'm gonna do is I just want to make sure I don't burn myself um, because the pot gets really hot. So I use a gas stove and I find that um, the handles get really hot uh, when I'm doing this. Whereas before when I used to have an electric stove that I didn't seem to have that problem. But regardless, uh, just be careful, you know, obviously. Um, so it's ready. It's uh, thickened up quite nicely and you just want to make sure that uh, you keep mixing it so it doesn't stick. Okay, so here we go. It's looking really good and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you that I'm going to put it in this dish and uh, and then I'm just going to put the paste in. Oh shoot. Um, so as you see, um, I'm just going to make sure that we just want to lay it flat. So you just, uh, oops, I don't think you could see that. So here we go. Um, so what I find is, um, you know, this actually, I could have done it in two dishes because it's quite thick, but you know, um, it'll just be a nice nice pie when I'm done with it anyway. So I've still got a bit more in here. Try not to waste all the good goodness that's in the pot. So that's that. And the stove is off. So then what you do with the pastry is you just want to um, lay it down. And I usually what I'll do is I'll just cut it at the edge just so that I can do that with it, right? And it'll, it'll uh, puff up quite nicely. So um, again, I'm just gonna measure this out and I usually just eye it and work around it this way. And then this way, in order to you know, not really waste any of the pieces, I'll just add skinnier pieces where there's an opening so that um, when it's cooking, it it cooks evenly with the pastry on there. And then here, we'll just uh, make sure that, sorry. So, so that's basically it. This is what you need to do um, to get it ready. Then you're going to bake it, like I said, in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes. Just watch the pastry. That'll be your your indication that uh, it's done. It's when it's golden, um, and, and you'll see it rising. It's going to be beautiful, and then um, it'll be ready to serve. So I usually serve it with like a nice salad. Um, look out for my next video. I'm actually making a bean salad that uh, I'm going to serve tonight. So um, a little bit healthy. Um, if you watched my video from this morning. I made something that, uh, you know, is a family favorite dish, but um, it's uh, not as healthy. It's the sweet bread, but it tastes so good. Um, so then for tonight, we'll have a nice uh, little uh, bean salad, which is uh, very tasty. You can have it, um, even if you're not gonna have it as a salad, you could um, use that for like nachos and dip. Uh, you know, if you, had, if you we're gonna do like a late night movie and wanted a little bit of a healthier snack. So this is ready. Um, we're gonna pop this in the oven and, uh, and I will show you a picture of it when it's done. But as you can see, because of the heat of the mixture that's underneath it, the pastry is already softening up and uh, that's it. Enjoy, I will see you on the next video. I hope you're all well. I will talk to you soon.